Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can do a complete wireless control panel or uh, let me say two different control panels because this one is a selection panel when I press a button it will select one of three options and as you can see it tells me something that's because I did something at spawn I'll show you in a moment and this one is a toggleable stackable um, panel where I can choose options like this and if I press the button again it will undo the selection and I combine these two so when it gets to the first option here it will give me the selected items so right now I will get a bow and an arrow so before we build the control panels I want to show you what I did at spawn so last time we had this that's the detection of a scoreboard there and the if block over here and this time I added a second if block and I added a second detection for uh, a function or a scoreboard so uh, we have two different options here I called this one uh, function oh here we need a one function one and function two and these command blocks say option one on and option two on and the if cases are now if sort and if bow and these command blocks don't say anything they just give us a sort or a bow and arrow so let's fly over to the uh, lobby where we want to build control panels and build two of these. So over here we want to build the control, control panels and first of all I want to start with the selection panels. So we will build it right here. I want to have it three white so we have three different options uh, but I only detect two at the spawn but that's okay. So let's use half slabs up here so it looks a bit nice uh, and the half slabs all right here so we need them right here and then we need the lamps which are right here and we need some blocks to put the buttons on and I like to use iron for that so it's a little different and then we just place down stone buttons right in front and these will be our three options but I will start with the first one so for the redstone behind it we will place a block another one up here a repeater running into it so we get the signal to here and then the important part for the selection panel is that we have redstone wire down here which gets powered from all the blocks and when you press any of the buttons the redstone will get lit and we will remove all the objectives and the command for it is uh, scoreboard objectives remove like this and then the objective name and we will name it function 1 let me copy it then over here function 2 and function 3 and then we need another part, that's why the redstone wire is down there, which gets only powered by the button. So we have another repeater right here. And then it goes into another block, which will power another command block underneath. And with this command block, we will add the objective uh, to the scoreboard. So for the first one, we would do scoreboard objectives at function one as a dummy, and this will already work. It will delete all objectives, and one day later, it will add the objective that you selected. So because we want to have an indicator light, we will need to place another redstone signal which uh, will again updates all of um, our um, 
functions in our control panel so we use the signal from the redstone wire there and then we place two repeaters like this so we don't interfere with this command block and then a block with a redstone torch underneath so pass this block another redstone torch block on top and then a block right here with a repeater facing into this one then place the command block with the command scholar players set at all function one two one and that's uh, the same as at spawn the detection for uh, if the scoreboard is there but over here we only need to detect for it when somebody presses a button so we take the signal from here and don't use a clock up here and then we will add a comparator and a block I will now repeat it for function 2 and 3 and be right back afterwards okay there we have it and now let's test it if it works now it says that option 1 is on and the light is lit up. Now press this button, option 1 is off, option 2 is on and this lamp is lit up. And when I press this button, option 2 is off and this lamp is lit up. Yeah, works fine. So for the second panel, we'll just add some blocks over here. And we'll only do two this time because we have two options to shoot, choose it's if we want to have a sword or a bow or both or nothing so that's what we can do with it this one is a bit more difficult to understand so I try to do my best so you can get it first of all we place again two repeaters facing out of the buttons and then we will place a block and underneath this block we'll place a command block which removes our objectives so if sort will be removed and the if bow will be removed uh, when you press the button and the command block which removes the command will only give an output if it can remove it and the output will stay when it removes it so we take the output and uh, build two blocks here and then we need two blocks uh, two command blocks up here which do the command um, scoreboard objectives at and we will do the same so small, uh, if sort on this side and if bow on this side and now we will place two redstone torches which will add the objectives now and then uh, two blocks up above like this then two repeaters and two blocks so now they're both activated and when I now press the button the lamp should turn off and that's because in this state the objective uh, isn't there and you can see it because the lamp is turned off um, and when I hit the button the repeater will give a signal into here uh, this blocker can't do anything because um, the objective isn't there so there's nothing to remove and that will turn uh, off the comparator down here also it will power this block which will add the objectives and because this one isn't uh, powered then anymore the torch will turn on again and gives the output that the objective is there like this next time I press the button this command block can't add the objective because it's already there so only this command block can um, yeah, remove the objective and also uh, if the objective wasn't here this command block couldn't do anything because the torch is on so it get powered from both sides so it will do nothing because it's already powered so it will remove the objective and then turn off the torch for the next time to add the objective and the lamp will turn off 
so that's already it uh, behind it so let's turn off both that's what we had before and let's go to function 3 when I now go to function 1 with this one activated uh, I will hopefully get a sort because this one is the if sort and it will give me a sort when option 1 gets activated so let's hop to option 2 and also activate this one and when we now hop to option 1 it will give me a sword, a bow and an arrow. So that's pretty nice because I can change my options for my game, uh, how I want to play it and yeah I can do lots of stuff with these two things like if commands, you can also do a, an if command with this thing like uh, if this one is activated set the game uh, player to game 1, if this one to game mode 0 and this one to game mode 3 or something uh, um, game mode 2 of course and that's pretty nice because you can do it wireless to spawn that's all you have in, on redstone in your lobby and you can pretty nice hide it because it's flat above here so we can add a roof and put it into a little box and nobody would notice what the redstone behind it is so, yeah, I think that's it for this uh, video. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I will say thanks for watching, and until next time.